Well, let's stay in the copyright world in a sense by going to perhaps one of the greatest beneficiaries of American mm-hmm. copyright law, and that is the Walt Disney Company. Uh, Billboard magazine, and I don't know how we missed this a couple weeks ago, but late last month, Katie, Billboard magazine put out an article of the 100 best Disney songs of all time. And I'm, I feel like I, you know, I, I don't know this about you with great certainty, but just by judging by your, you know, if, if I'm an elder millennial, you're like a younger millennial. I feel like you are right in that wheelhouse of just being obsessed with Disney musicals because you had a lot of them growing up. I would imagine that a list like this is going to excite you and give you lots of thoughts and feelings. Uh, I have so many opinions. I am a, I am not like any adult as they call some people, but I am a big fan of Disney. I've been trying to rally up my friends to go see the little new, new the new little mermaid for like, since it came out a week ago or whatever it was. Um, so as you, well, can I spoil it? Can I? Yeah, say? no, we're talking about the list. What do you got? Okay. Cause I mean, it gave me a lot of delight to see that part of your world was number one. Cause that is like my go-to Disney karaoke song. I think I've perfected it. Like I'm obsessed. Um, but some of the things on this list were a little shocking to me. I, I'm with you on that. Well, so I think that these list people do this, like Rolling yeah, Stone does right. this a lot and it pisses me off. Like, I know that like they put out the list, like they, they always have like, the, I bet they have the first draft of the list. That's perfectly reasonable and generally acceptable. And then the editor gets to it and is like, we need to put a few things in ridiculous spots yeah, just... to piss people off so that they post it on Twitter about how angry they are. And yep. this list is full of that. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, no, you're right. And it's interesting how they did it too. And maybe we can like walk through the top 10 and just give our thoughts. But like it's, some of it, I, I just wonder, like, why is it in this place? Because is it is it because it's a good song or is it because it just, like, is famous? Like, not popular, yeah. not good. For instance, Let It Go is a number two. I think that that deserves a number two spot, even though I think Into the Unknown is, like, a arguably better song from Frozen. But, okay. But then number three, It's a Small World. It's, like, that is the ride and the song that people, like, make fun of universally (laughs) how is that number three nobody wants to listen to that song is it known yes but it's terrible (laughs) yeah um there there are a lot of them that are like a lot of things on this list made me kind of like confused and to like upset we'll we'll talk to Derek Toombs about this because he's (laughs) you know he's obviously a film buff I bet he's got lots of opinions on Disney songs but you know, the fact that, for example, uh, How Far I'll Go mm-hmm. is not even the, it's like number 44 or something on the list from Moana, and it's not even the number one Moana song on this list. They put You're Welcome ahead really? of, yeah, they put You're Welcome ahead of mm. How Far I'll Go on this list. You know what's not on this list at all? Go the Distance from Hercules. Uh, nothing but Nothing from Hunchback of Notre Wait, Dame on this list. Make a man out list. of you on this. What's that? Make a man out of you. Um. Uh, yeah, it's on there, it's like, it but like way be. too low or way Ugh. too high, way too low. I should say. I'm gonna search it. Yeah. Um. And you know, but like forty-seven. Like, that's oh, see, that's that's too low. <laughs> that's I mean, that's I mean, anything with Donny Osmond, you got to at least put top twenty-five. And you it's, know, it's, it's 46. federal law. Why should I worry from Oliver and Company? Who even knows that song? You're going to tell me that's better than I'll Make a Man Out of You? Oh, see, now now you're letting your young millennial, like, (laughs) upset this elder millennial. Because I'm not here for your Billy Joel slander. I'm also not here for the (laughs) Phil Collins slander on this list. All right, they got, I mean, two of the, like, best Disney songs and probably two of Phil Collins' masterpieces uh, on my way from the Brother Bear soundtrack, ninety four. Oh, go bleep yourself! And <laughs> you'll be in my heart is only thirty four. That's a top ten easy. Like they are, like I mean, no, Phil Collins no, I- touched by God when he wrote both of those songs, and like neither of them make the top forty. Come on. What's the other one from Tarzan? It's like trash in the camp. Trash in the, the camp. camp. Trash in the- I love that song. <laughs> But not more than you'll be in my heart. Like trash in the like. There's no way trash in the camp is in the top 100. Come on, that's such a bop. (laughs) 
<laughs> but I know I agree. Like you'll be right. that is a classic. But I'm gonna come after this list's number one, and also what it sounds like your number one. I know this is going to attract a lot of ire and this is not the time to like take this position on this song because the new movie came out. I've been told it's excellent. Part of your world overrated there. I said it. No, you're wrong. You're Walking wrong. around with those. What do you call them? Feet. You know what feet are, Ariel. She's a mermaid. She's a mermaid. She I'm, know about I understand, but I'm a person and I know what fish fins are. <laughs> like oh. just because like, like how does she not know what feet are? <laughs> Not the word, okay? It's not a big deal. <laughs> I, you know what? Okay, you know what's funny actually is like one time I had a conversation about with friends about like who the greatest band of the 60s was. And I realized in that conversation, I said the Beatles, by the way, that really I really going off the board there. Just controversial. I know. That's a super like crazy to say. Um, <laughs> but in our discussion, I thought I'm like, how could it be anyone but? And then I realized that like other people judged music in other ways, like the guitar riffs or whatever. And I was like, for me, it's all about like singability. And part of your world, it has elite singability. It's so such a good melody and it's so fun to sing. And that's why I think it deserves a number one spot. And I so yeah, does it, the camp. It's <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> like somewhere Phil Collins is just yelling at his computer screen because you have put trash in the camp above his masterpiece that is you'll be in my heart. They're both masterpieces. Like, the Katie Zaccardi list, it sounds like is just based on like your only metric is what songs do I have the most fun drunkenly singing it at private room karaoke with my friends. And I'm with you. That's and why that's that why I'll make a man out of you is on the top of my list yes. because that is a great song to sing drunk with your friends at karaoke. 100%. <laughs> we should redo this list, but in terms of best Disney About karaoke songs. <laughs> yes. Because I actually think make a man out of you would be number one of best Disney karaoke songs. And then part of the world, because that's like a solo act, but so oh yeah, but everybody beer. else, because because yeah, everyone with a beer in their hand, be a man. Yeah, that's that's the best. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. 